the fuck you gonna do besides piss? You ain't the working kind of nigga. He needs to keep it pimping. Well, when I come up into life, people that was dealing with hoes dealt with drugs too. They all were surrounded by one little circle. It's all in the game. Tell me what you know about this pimping. Pimpin'. It's more than a close up. I walk with a limpin'. Or rather, a but Bird started me with this shit. This game shit. He stayed on Bird. I stayed on Calvin. One street behind. Little boys, you know, he coming through in Cadillacs. Popping in, pimping, you know. And that was exciting for us. But it was not only exciting, but you could eat from it. <laughs> You can send a woman to work, she might not even break luck that night. All your money is getting ready to be limited. But when you handling something that a person got to have, they're going to think of any means necessary to go get that money, and they're going to spend that money on what they need. He did a lot of great things, but when I saw that, it's like the house was bought for the gang, and he didn't even stay there. When he went through the town, he was there, but when he was gone, he left the key under the floor mat, and he was welcome, more than welcome to stay. Well, Bird is a gentleman. Bird is a scholar, you know? And all the young people they need to stop, you know, hating and do some congratulating. Don't be a hater, be a congratulator, because Bertha is a bad motherfucker, okay? I like to pin my moves, spread the wealth throughout my family. Cause that's, that's what bosses do. I let loose, here's the scoop. I'm 100 proof. So a pin, I inherit to, to be bullshit proof. 24 7. Anybody that they will stop Monday Night Football to announce that he got arrested, anybody they do that for, count me in, Jack. When they do the movie, I'm there, brother. Uh, we look just the same. If I had the jewelry on that you did, boom, we twins. <laughs> this is the real deal. I'm letting y'all know this man fed a lot of people. A lot of people. Give everybody a chance. I ain't got nothing bad to say about Virgil. When I was down, the motherfucker, when I was coming up in the record business, the motherfucker slid me a couple of dollars to keep me rolling. This is why Kevin Black got a lot of this artillery up here. <laughs> <laughs> ain't been a rapper I ain't touched. I used to walk in Virgil's house. I'm a young shorty. He used to have sacks of money. I'm talking about sacks. I'm talking about real stacks of money, rubber band up, every fucking thing. So I used to walk in, young nigga, you know, just saying, you know, what's up, Verge? How you doing? So, you know, can you give your little nephew a little something? You know, he used to tell me, don't go in there and get what you want. Go in there and get what you need. You see sacks stacked up, you don't know what the fuck to take. Don't go in there and get what you want. Get what you need. You can't make a person go put a needle in their arm. They do that by choice, they don't do that by force. But they want to blame it on the man that got it. For you niggas to come through this motherfucker and sit here and say the shit that you been saying, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call one nigga out in particular. And nigga, you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about, nigga. All of a sudden now, nigga, you on his side? Fuck that, you challenge his pimping, nigga. Nigga, you ain't never been in a position to, to say about where this nigga is at. You know, you ain't never been on this nigga's level. You know who I'm talking about.